until the next morning after. Yeah. Just kind of yeah, you know, I th look, you know, it's been a long year. Um, you know, I think everyone's tired. Everyone's, you know, put a lot into this year and obviously didn't get the results we wanted. Um, you know, and the only thing you do, you got to take a step back a little bit, um, you know, review your process. You know, I'll review what I've done this year, what I can do better, um, you know, and, and then go from there. Um, but right now, really, it's not a time for, you know, a whole big bunch of evaluating or anything like that. Just get some rest, recover, um, you know, and get ready to, you know, get back to work and see where it goes from there. You've been asked a thousand times about yeah. this, but your coach is at the forefront nationally about, you know, whether or not he's going to come back. How much would you like to see him return and, 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 and do this again next year? Yeah, you know, look, I've I've been very fortunate my whole career. Of, uh, you know, in high school I had one coach. College I had one coach. Um, and here I've had one coach, you know, a head coach. And, um, you know, I have a lot of respect for Bill and everything he's done. He, you know, my draft story, or, you know, no one came and worked me out. He came all the way down to Athens and spent some time with me and told me he wasn't going to draft me, uh, which I'll never forget. But, <laughs> uh, you know, but honestly, there was a lot of – the first thing I learned about him is how honest he was because, um, you know, I, they drafted Shaq and Trey, and I was training with Shaq, and Shaq always was going to be playing center in the NFL compared to – you know what everybody else was saying out there. I was teaching. I was working out with Shaq, teaching him how to snap a football. <laughs> so when I saw him draft those two guys, I was kind of like, man, he kind of like, you know, he lied to me and said he went and he called me and told me that you know Shaq wasn't going to play center here, and obviously Shaq never played a snap of center here. So that was a lot of honesty, and um, so I'll always appreciate him. Um, he's taught me so much about the game, and and I enjoy working for him because I know what I'm going to get and I know what's expected of me. Um, and you know, I think that makes it somewhat easier to go to work every day. So, David, there's constant reminders of how quickly a, a roster can change in yeah. the NFL. What would it say to you if Bill Belichick was no longer the head coach of the Patriots? You know, I don't know. You know, I, look, it's, it, there's always turnover. There's always everything. But uh, you know, they don't. I don't make those decisions, or you know, I have anything to do with that. But again, like I said, you know. I played with coach for a long time, you know, not as long as some other people, but um, you know, I've learned a lot from him, uh, and I enjoy playing for him. You've seen the, the highest of highs here. Can you speak to any type of culture change in the last seven, eight years? Look, yeah, I mean, look, everything. You know, there's always a lot of turnover, and and um, you know, you start looking around, and and uh, you know, there's less and less, you know, people that have one. And that's fine. Um, that's what, how it was. It wasn't going to last forever with that. But you know, you have to build your own identity as a football team, and in this organization, we have to build our own identity. And um, you know, we'll try to keep working at that and try to keep improving it. Um, you know, to be the best best team we can be, and, and you know, starts you know somewhat today and moving forward every day after that. So that's what we'll do. David, can you put into perspective just how challenging a year it was for your position group? You, yeah. It just there was. You know, a lot of change, obviously, in personnel. Obviously, Adrian's going through his thing. Yeah. How tough was it for you guys this year? No, I mean, look, there's – like, it's NFL football. Like, you got to go out there and perform no matter what happens, what's going on around you. Um, you know, I think, obviously, this, you know, the coaching, you know, with AK, you know, kind of getting sick and things like that. And, um, you know, it is tough because, you know, it's kind of – you know, especially with a young room. Um, but, uh, you know, I think, like I said last night, you know, for these young guys, this offseason is so huge for them, right? And um, they'll get a full offseason instead of, you know, seeing how fast they can run a 40-yard sprint and look good and things like that. So now they get to really train, understand, you know, what it takes to play in a full football. They've gotten a taste of it and, you know, all right, well, I need to get stronger. I need to do this. I need to put more muscle on, I need to lean up, I need to gain weight, I, whatever it is, right? Um, you know, so like I said, that's something, you know, I think I can talk to them about because, I, like I said, I saw a lot of improvement. I felt like in my first to second year, the game slows down a little bit. You're starting to see, all right, like, hey, this is what I got beat with. This is where I really did well. This is where I struggled. Like, you start seeing all that. So, um, you know, I think it's a big year for a lot of the young guys, you know, we have in our room. And then, you know, obviously there'll be turnover, you know, guys leaving, free agency, things like that. So. David, you have a life in the community here. Is, is there part of you that only wants to play here, or given the nature of the league, you're, you're open to just about anything? You know, it's uh, 
I love playing here. I love being a New England Patriot, and um, you know, hopefully that's that's where I get to finish my career now. A lot of people get to walk away on their own terms, and um, you know, I, I I love playing here. I love being here. I love a part of this community. I love the organization. Um, you know, so you know, we built our life here. We stay here year round for the most part, and um, you know, so it is. It would be weird seeing myself do that, but you know, like I said, you know, hopefully I get to walk away on my own terms one day, and. Uh, you know, hopefully it's in this uniform. You touched on it yesterday, what your process will be going to yeah. Georgia, being with your son. But how do you feel right now physically and mentally at this point in your career? Uh, I, you know, I'm tired. Uh, I'm sore. It was a long year. Uh, but like I said, it's, you know, it's hard. You never want to make a decision right after the season, right? Even even after Super Bowls, you're just kind of like, man, thank, thank God it's over. Take a breath a little bit. And, um, you know, it's it's always a long year no matter what. So. You know, just going to get away, relax a little bit, uh, you know, and and figure it out and start training, you know, see how I feel, go from there. Uh, you know, because I know what it takes for me to play, and I'm obviously not the biggest biggest guy, so, uh, you know, I, I have to be very physically ready to go and, you know, make sure I try to get back there and, and see where it goes from there. A little hunting, fishing, loving every day, right? Yeah, I think I got three days left of deer season in Georgia. I think it goes out the 14th, so I built a pond. It's, doesn't have enough water in it yet, but no, we'll see. So I'm we excited. Stay away for three days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't come around. So I don't know. We'll see. We got a lot of work to do. So uh, just to get down there, relax a little bit, and uh, you know, spend some time. My son told him today I only had to go to work one more day, so he's pretty excited about that. So um, you know, I spent a lot of time here. Um, you know, and so getting to go home and, and spend some time with my wife and, and spend some time with him, uh, you know, something, you know, he's, they take a lot of the brunt during the season. So I try to invest back in them in the off season. Thanks, guys.